Now, I believe that I actually need to get the other stone seal now that I think about it. I think I'm supposed to be able to get both right now. Can I head... Oh, I can up, up, and yeah, there we go. That makes sense. I thought that was a sealed door. That is red, I believe. It is. Now I can come down here and get these treasure chests before moving on, get the my lead, which is useful somewhat, but I can buy things that are better now. And a magic walnut, which is always appreciated, especially when I have to keep using all my damn magic. Now, are you serious? Those things respawn? Uh, does this guy die in one hit normally? No, he normally takes two. And we need to go ahead this way. I forgot a little bit of where, where the exit was. These guys are easy enough. Everything now is easy enough, I must say. So we can just head on through, and now we can head up here to Rune Passage Level 3. I don't know what happened to Level 2, but whatever, Level 3. This looks like the point of no return. Thank you for breaking the fourth wall. Are we going to go for it? I can say no here if I so desire. This really is the point of no return. If you have not completed any side quests that you would like to complete, this is the point at which you will no longer be able to complete them, so I suggest heading back now. I didn't want to go through this ruined passage more than once, and I didn't want to do side quests, well, pretty much when I was in the middle of a dungeon, so I have not... I've done them all before heading through the Ruined Passage, but this is Dime Tower here. Once we go inside, it is really the point of no return. So I'm going to drop a save and, and make sure everything is going well, go through this again, and we'll see how that all works out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have gone back outside and dropped another save, pretty much a backup save at this point, and I'll be trying to use the same other save while we go through this. There isn't really a point in trying to heal right now, uh, but this really is the point of no return. It is nice when a game tells you that. I wish they were a little bit more subtle about it, though. Yes, thank you. This is the point of no return. Are we going to go for it? Yes. Into Dime Tower we go. It is nice when a game tells you that. Sometimes it just sneaks up on you. Next thing you know, you can't do some, a lot of the side quests, but this game flat out tells you, which is nice. But once again, a little bit more subtlety about what's going on here would be appreciated. I know it's not technically breaking the fourth wall to say the point of no return, but it does feel that way. It does feel that way. We can recover ourselves right here. You can drop another save, but once again, we have just passed the point of no return, so it's not like I'm going to be stopping here. I'm going to keep going, of course. I'm going to keep going straight into a cutscene. Hooray. What's going on? So this is Siba's Dime Tower. There's no turning back. No, not anymore. Let's concentrate on what's ahead, Loki. We can get all sentimental later. We have to get to Sanctuary quick to stop Julius. I'll check above ground while you check below. You take care of the sewers. I will head up where it's nice and clean. Sounds like a plan to me. I'll check out the underground area. Misa, stay alert. Sure. And off she goes. So now we have no uh, companion. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Is this some kind of code? Nope, sure beats me. Why don't you give it to me? I might be able to figure out a little bit better than you can, Loki. You're not so quick on the uptake most days. Let's head down here. Pretty much the only way we can go. And there be spikes, which usually hurt, but they didn't right there for whatever reason. There we go. <laughs> they do hurt. Just, just to show you. But we can head up here and we can grab a chocolate lump. Yes, recovery items are always appreciated past the point of no return. I'd like something a little better than a chocolate lump, but I think that's pretty much all they're going to give me. Now I have lit that, and now I can head down here, a path which was not open before. And we can find a whole bunch of dead robots. Hooray. Hey! One of them is slightly off color. I bet he's important. These machines. They're the same as the ones at Subland River and Subsea Volcano. They are. I believe. Is what's up? Robo? Bloon? Moving objects words, friends. Oh, so these guys speak with all caps, just like the Seventh Saga robots. Hooray! This guy works! 
Yes, yes he does. You aren't going to call in the monsters, are you? He has control over that? Why do you have the sword? I d don't think I had the sword out last time, Loki. Looks like it's shaking. Alone, quiet, lonely, always! Well, he doesn't look like trouble. Friends all stopped. Cannot move. Want to move? You and I. Friends, you, I, friends. He's a forever alone robot. Who knew they existed? I guess even machines can get lonely. That Yeah, that doesn't really make sense to me. I'm Loki. Nice to meet you. Join the gang. You can come with me because I'm the only one here. I am Warbot. Marshall, I go. Friends good. And we have Marshall the Warbot in our party now. That's exactly what we needed, another party member. I haven't equipped him with anything. I don't have anything to equip him with. But I should be fine. Be honest with you. Look at him move! Look at him run! Run for me! Ah! He kicks up dirt everywhere he goes! Let's jump down here and we can grab ourselves a magic walnut! Very nice! Very nice! Now, I think I need to head over to. Did something over open up over here this time? No. No, okay. Just double checking. I, s I, I swore something else opened up, but I must be mistaken. And he actually got hurt by the spikes. Damn it! <laughs> what are you doing? Can you help me decipher this? He can. Definitely. I told you it was some sort of code. Is this some kind of code? Because I couldn't figure it out in 10 seconds and therefore I decided it wasn't a code. Dawn Tower was built to supply Vandal Empire with mana power. That power was used primarily as a weapon. It's frighteningly destructive. Pow wow 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 wow. Controlled. Enough already! Loki... angered? <laughs> Why is Loki the only word here that he didn't put in all caps? Ire! Raised! Why? Really? You used the word Ire? This game has some big words in it, even though Ire is really small. You know what I mean. Why? Does not compute! What the hell? Marshall, using mana power as a weapon is not a good thing! Marshall, unfazed! <laughs> Marshall, mana power. Marshall, bad? Yes, you are very bad. You are very bad indeed. Doesn't look like I can do much more of anything over here. I cannot... Well, that's actually the way that we went before. But this has now opened up. It looks like the doors are busted down less... Well, more than it looks like we actually opened them legitimately. It looks like I should be able to go up these ways, but for some reason I ha cannot... And we have new enemies here that are immune to the flail. Let's go ahead and bust out the sword. I like the sword, to be honest. It's probably my favorite now. Uh, because I have just enough range to stay out of uh, range of most of the enemies while having the damn fast attack, to be honest with you. And I do like that. This has be become, once again, one of my favorite weapons. Probably my favorite weapon. Although the Nux are nice as well. Flail. Flail's alright, but uh, slow. What are you going to do? Nothing more up here. I did grab a wood coin, as if I needed coins as well. Same enemies. Same enemies. Uh, look, it doesn't look like there's anywhere else I can go, except maybe down here? Nope. So let's kill these guys again. How dare you take two hits? I should be able to kill you in one. There we go. Now I probably need to hit... Okay, let's use this. There's a code here, too. Marshall, can you make it out? From way over there, he can, even though I'm staying directly in the way. Deciphering complete. Deciphering complete. A nature spirit knocks three times. Huh? What's that mean? One, two... Yeah, hit that three times. So that's what that means, as you might imagine. Pretty pretty basic. Now, where did the door open up? Did I believe it opened up over here. No, it opened up on the right side up top. Up top, of course. I am done killing you guys. As you can see, though... Oh, I never went over his stats. Let's look at Marshall, Marshall's stats. He is Warbot in here. He is level 52, so we are definitely overleveled for this place. Uh, he doesn't have any MP. Well, he doesn't have any magic, so that's fine. And his stats are decent. He's got a good amount of power, good amount of agility, high defense, intelligence. I don't even know why he has intelligence, to be honest with you, in terms of stats. 
um, and then mind is, is decent as well. Uh, he has a laser, as you might have seen, so he doesn't have any sort of weapon levels. These freaking jesters, man, these jesters. Die. Nice. <laughs> and then we can take this guy on, and this guy on as well. These, uh, okay, apparently take five hits? Is that what we're going for here? No, nope, turn that back on. This one only took one, but that one took five hits. That is not so good. Can I hop over anywhere? No, it doesn't appear like I can. Which is no good. No good. Can I hop? It feels like I should be able to hop over there. Unfortunately, I cannot. Oh, God. I feel like I've already done something wrong, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. Well, I ran into the spikes. That's probably not a good idea. So, hold on while I possibly take these guys on again. I'm sure they're going to respawn. And I'll figure out what I need to do here. Actually, it looks like I have done everything that I needed to do in here. I thought... Oh, I need to kill this guy, though. I thought that there was supposed to be a path that opens up because I used... Or I, you know, hit those two and lit them up. However, that's not how this works. And head over here and kill that guy. And... Well, that opening those two has opened up this path here. And now we can head through here and we can get another one of these. Decipher and complete three nature spirit siblings who don't get along well. The eldest once, the second five times, the sister three times. This is how they knock on doors. I don't understand exactly what he's trying to say here with the siblings and all that kind of stuff. But I do know that I hit that one once. I hit this one five times. So this one I'm going to have to to hit three times, probably to open up a door right there. There we go. Somehow that's what it looks like when it's opened and not utterly destroyed. Now it is time for me to use this goddess statue. Once again, I'm gonna keep all the save files on this one separate from my backup file that's outside, just in case, just in case.